Hey, what's going on everyone? So, we are about 24 hours out from, I actually have a video shoot coming up tomorrow, but I figured I would do a video on basically how to prep for a fitness like photo shoot or video shoot when you only have 24 hours. So I was expecting a video shoot coming up um, on Sunday, it's Tuesday right now. So I was expecting something coming up later this week, um, but it's been moved up to Wednesday, so tomorrow morning. Um, and so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing over the next 24 hours in order to get ready for that. So step one, I got a spray tan last night. Um, you could get them pretty much up to 24 hours before the thing. It takes about 24 hours to kind of fully set in. So um, I did it late last night. You can get it uh, the morning of, or I mean the morning before as well. Um, what that's gonna do, it's just gonna help um, bring out better muscle definition. So it's gonna show a lot more like lines and definition in your muscle. Um, and so that was the first step and I'll just show you what the physique is looking like right now, and then I'll kind of step you through the day, show you what I'm doing to prepare for the video shoot tomorrow. Ideally, you don't want to leave it to 24 hours beforehand. Um, it's really not enough time to properly prep for something, but if you have something special coming up, you know, in a day from now, and you want to look your best, uh, these things can kind of help you out. So let's show you the physique. Here is what I'm looking like. It's about 8.30 in the morning right now. Um, the shoot is about 9. Well, starts at 9 tomorrow. It's going to be a full day thing. Um, but uh, here is my physique 24 hours out, no pump. Um, I haven't had any food yet, and I've just had about 500 mils of water. So here's what I'm looking like, you know, unflexed, no pump. Okay, and then flex the abs there. Okay, back. Can you hear my joints cracking? So, as you can see, whoa, caught the camera there. So, as you can see, I am in you know, decent shape. I'm not uh, as lean as I would like to be, uh, but I have been dieting for about three to four weeks, um, a little bit more aggressively to prepare for this. So um, I have been getting leaner. So that's always the first step. You want to be pretty lean to begin with. Um, but as I said, these little tips are going to help you out, um, you know, just to help you look your best within 24 hours. So uh, next step, we are going to chug a shitload of water. Basically what I wanna do, we have 24 hours, and so for the next five hours, maybe four to five hours, so up until about lunchtime, um, I wanna get in probably six liters of water, so that's like a gallon and a half for you guys in the States. Um, and what that's gonna do, it's gonna help suppress the antidiuretic hormone, so the hormone that actually causes your body to hold on to water. Um, and then I'm going to completely cut my water out pretty much after say one o'clock. Um, and so then I'll have basically the rest of the day to dry out to where my body will be flushing out that excess water. Um, and so let's go grab some water. All right, so as you can see, I have, this holds about 800 milliliters in this big cup. Uh, so the goal is going to be to have about probably seven of these throughout the day. Oh, I got an alarm going off. Seven or eight of these by about one o'clock. Um, so it's gonna suck. You're gonna be going to the bathroom a lot, but that is what you want in order to help you dry out. And uh, again, just kind of look your best for that shoot in 24 hours. So, uh, gonna have this. 
and then uh, we'll touch on what to do for food. All right. All right, so here we are with the breakfast. So I have, I've just tracked it. So um, I just have one whole egg, 150 grams of liquid egg whites. Uh, it's about the equivalent of four um, egg whites if you're using whole eggs. And then I have um, one slice of light rye toast and about 45 grams of this no sugar added ketchup. This stuff is wicked. Uh, five calories, one carb per tablespoon. Okay, so I have that tracked here. Okay, so I have that tracked here on Lose It. So ketchup, uh, bread, egg, egg whites, spinach, and that puts this meal at 27 protein, 18 carbs, and five fat, okay? So this week, um, I have been keeping my fats and my carbs quite low. Um, I've been having about 120 to 130 grams of carbs per day, and I've been having about 30 grams of fat, um, you know, give or take, so probably about 25 to 35 grams of fat. 120 to 130 carbs. Um, so I have been kind of depleting and today I'm going to keep my food quite light still. Um, still quite low carbs, probably around 100 to 120 uh, throughout the day. And then late tonight I'm going to get uh, like a bigger burger. So that is going to be additional, like on top of whatever food I'm having today, I'm pretty much gonna keep the same sort of macros. So about 200 to 225 protein, um, 100 to 125 carbs, somewhere in there, and probably around 30 fat. And then I'm going to get a burger, and so that's gonna be some extra carbs and a lot of extra fats and sodium late at night. Um, I just find that the fats and that extra sodium and that helps me fill out a lot more um, for like photo shoots and, and shows and things like that. So it's definitely something you wanna play around with. Some people respond really well to you know the extra fats and sodium, some people do not. Um, so try it out. Um, it's best to give yourself some time and kind of practice this stuff beforehand, but I'm just showing you what I'm doing and what works for me and it may work for you as well. Uh, so, I'm gonna have this breakfast. As you can see, I also have my second uh, cup of water. Um, so once I finish this, that'll be roughly two liters of water that I've had so far this morning. It's about nine o'clock, so I'm on good track with that. Uh, so, I will check in with you again to show you what my lunch is looking like. My lunch and dinner are going to be pretty much the exact same meal, um, likely some veggies and tuna, and that's pretty much it. Um, I might throw in some rice cakes as well, but I will show you guys my lunch, and then we will talk training later in the day, and I'll show you what I'm doing for um, my last sort of workout. All right, talk to you soon, peace. It's about five o'clock, I figured I'd show you what I've got for dinner. My lunch and dinner was the exact same thing. So I have here 200 grams of just the Normandy mixed vegetables. Um, and then I have a can of tuna. So nothing fancy. Um, I have a little bit of garlic salt on it, but that's it. Um, and yeah, I uh, finished about six, six or six and a half liters of water by about 2.30 today. And so since then I've just been basically cutting water. Um, just little sips here and there if I need it, but for the most part, I'm just gonna cut water for the rest of the night. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys soon with the workout. All right, so here you see I started off the workout with an incline bench press and I did about 12 to 20 reps for this. 
Um, this whole workout I did in a circuit fashion. So I went from one exercise to the next to the next. Um, and then I repeated the whole thing three, I think I did four rounds of the whole circuit. So second exercise here, I have lat pull downs. So again, the main thing with this, um, just focusing on pulling with the elbows, squeezing with the lats rather than pulling with, you know, the arms and biceps to make sure I'm really working the back with this. Um, next up, we have another back movement. This was a seated cable row. Um, again, with this, you want to pull with the elbows and really squeeze at the back. Um, these are sped up, these exercises. They're about 150%, um, so one and a half times the speed that I was actually performing them. Uh, next, I have seated overhead shoulder press on the machine here. Um, it's an arsenal strength machine, so they're uh, individual uh, grips on each side, so it it's a really good machine for working the shoulders. Um, next, I just did some standing dumbbell lateral raises. Again, you wanna focus on lifting that elbow up and uh, I like to keep my pinky slightly higher than my thumb for these. It just helps to keep that tension on the side delt rather than having your front delt take over. Uh, next, we moved on to arms, so it worked the triceps. This here is a dumbbell incline skull crusher, so I have the bench set at about 30 to 45 degrees, um, and then I'm getting a good stretch in the triceps at the bottom, lowering it behind my head, and then all the way up to the top, um, flexing at the top and locking out the elbow for that uh, peak contraction. And finally, I hit the biceps with these dumbbell preacher curls. Uh, so the preacher pad was actually being used when I was doing these, so I just propped up a bench on a high incline. As you can see, I do have to move my elbows around a little bit because it, they kind of slip off because it's a really narrow bench. But that is the workout. So I did that whole thing three to four times, and that was my full upper body circuit saw the little workout circuit that I did there. Now I'm just finishing up um, everything for the night. So I have a double burger from Wendy's. This guy here. So I'm gonna have that. And then I also have an ounce and a half of whiskey. It's this Forty Creek copper pot. Um, Canadian whiskey and I also have a dash of maple syrup and brown sugar in there. It's called a maple old-fashioned So what the alcohol is gonna do it's gonna help further Dehydrate me and also bring out some more like vascularity. So the veins um, And then the burger is gonna help with those fats and carbs to just keep my muscles full um, As well as the sodium in there. So I'm gonna have this I will give you a quick physique update, what I'm looking like now, and then I will update you guys in the morning and just kind of let you know what I'm gonna do in the morning to make sure I'm ready for the shoot. Peace. The one thing I didn't mention earlier was my sodium intake. So some people will say to load up sodium, some people will say to completely cut it out. Um, I like to just keep it consistent and manipulate my water levels. That way I don't have to worry about things counteracting one another and you know running into issues with having too much salt, having not enough salt, and uh, you know just screwing things up. So um, I just keep my sodium quite consistent um, with what I've been doing for the whole week leading up to it. And I just loaded my water in the morning, like I said, and then cut it back right about two, between like two and three o'clock. Um, and yeah, so I will check in with you guys in the morning, let you know what the plan is for the day and show you my physique after my, you know, 24 hour prep for uh, that fitness shoot. So. Um, talk to you guys in the morning. Thank you for watching. If you're still watching this, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe for more awesome videos and I will see you in the morning. Peace. We are here. It is shoot day. Today I'm shooting a uh, video with David Morin. Um, you may, may know him from uh, The Perfect Physique on Netflix um, or I've seen him on a ton of uh, fitness covers in magazines and stuff. Um, so pretty pumped about that for breakfast. Um, I'm doing 90 grams of oats with a scoop of protein um, and then a couple chocolate chips and a little bit of peanut butter. So 
that there. Protein, oats, peanut butter. Here is the little ab check for the morning. Let's see how the light is. Okay. So, um, the 24 hour shoot prep has went pretty well, um, looking much drier, much tighter in the core, the obliques are coming through better, and uh, that's pretty much everything. For the rest of the day leading up to the shoot, I'm gonna keep the meals um, fairly light again and focus mainly on uh, simple carb sources, things like rice cakes, um, honey, um, even like candy, stuff like that, just to help with replenishing glycogen in the muscle. Um, and I'm not going to have much fiber so that I'm not getting all like bloated and things like that. And I'm also keeping my water very minimal. So just kind of sips as I need. Um, and that's pretty much the plan. So that is your 24 hour fitness shoot prep. You can use this for a video shoot, for a photo shoot. It works a little bit better for a photo shoot because with a video shoot, typically you're doing a little bit more high intensity like activity and stuff so you don't want to be super super depleted but uh yeah if you have something you know a special event coming up that you want to look your best for in 24 hours follow this plan and uh that'll help you get there so if you like this video smash that thumbs up button be sure to subscribe to my channel and i will catch you in the next one peace out